let's take up uh, deletion in Q today. Deletion in an array Q. We have seen how to insert elements into an array queue. Now let's see how to delete elements from this. Now as I've already said that this follows the concept of front and front uh, V4 that is front in front out, first in first out, right? Okay. So here when I have this array, uh, supposing this is the array here and we have got some elements here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's see. And uh, we have these numbers over here, let's say. Now, when we want to delete the elements, see here, front is at this place, right? That is the zeroth position and rear is here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, when you want to delete an element, the first element, that is this element, will get deleted, right and front will be shifted to this place that is front becomes equal to front plus one front will become equal to front plus one so as you keep on deleting elements in your array queue the position of front will keep on incrementing by one so that uh, now this element is deleted if you want to delete one more element then obviously it will be this element right when this elements get deleted front will shift to this place so now this is front and this is rear right so like this the deletion will always occur at the place where front is pointing to we cannot delete any other element in the queue the the position of front that is the element that will be deleted right now let's look at <clears throat> The algorithm here if front is equal to null if front is equal to null that means the queue is empty if the queue is empty nothing can be deleted right print queue empty front is equal to null or front is equal to minus one right okay else if it is not equal to null then that means there is some uh, element there which can be deleted so we write item is equal to q front so whatever element is there in uh, this one like in this case we had two right so now item becomes equal to two right and then we say if we check if front is equal to rear if front is equal to rear what does that mean there is only one element in the array both front and rear are equal means front and rear will be pointing to the same element that is the first and the last element right okay hmm. so in that case once you delete that element the array will become empty so here we can write front is equal to rear is equal to null or minus one right if front is not equal to rear See, if front is equal to null, that condition we have already checked, it is not equal to null. We come to this else part. So, like in this case, now front is here, rear is here, right? Now, when I want to delete this, right, front is not equal to rear. Front is this one, 2 and rear is 4, right? Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, right? So, now I will come to the else part of this. After this, right, I'll write it here. Else, front is equal to front plus 1. Front is equal to front plus 1, right. And this else, which we have written here, that will be closed here. Fine. So, what we are basically doing is, item is equal to Q front, I am writing. So, item becomes equal to 6. That will be returned back to the main program when we do that item is equal to 6 and front becomes equal to front plus 1 that is it positions to the third element now so front is basically from this point it is moving to this point now and this element is also getting deleted so like this the elements in the queue will get deleted this is a simple algorithm here 
Now we will look at the program, the C++ function, how to write it, right? The uh, prototype here, let's say remove Q and inside this you just need to pass the array, right? An integer array, uh, no need to pass uh, rear, front and all because the deletion always happens from the front, right? The display function is the same as we did in the uh, insert program, right? Here I'll pass one uh, array, that is the Q array and the rear and the fr uh, front and the rear, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, we take this... Uh, the Q, suppose I say 20 and then front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1 as global variables, right? Then you have the main function. Now inside the main function, int res item comma result, right? care ch is equal to y now this part first of all uh, if you want to write the whole program that is basically you want to insert the elements into the array first and then delete the elements so the insertion part we have done already in the previous session so I won't repeat that here uh, here you, I'll just put a uh, y ch is equal to equal to why here you are doing the insertion the code for insertion right okay mm -hmm. and the function for insertion will be called here right once that is done now we come to the deletion part right now we ask c out do you want to delete elements ch again you have the variable ch you give the value y here because um, we initialize it once again y y ch is equal to equal to y or capital y you can put right okay uh, now here i say result is equal to remove q right and within bracket the uh, Q, uh, the array, the name of the array is Q, right? This is the function call for this uh, deletion. Now let's go to this int remove here. I'm passing the integer array, the integer Q, right? Okay, now look here. Here I take one variable called item. Fine. And first of all, we check if front is equal to equal to minus 1. If front is equal to equal to minus 1, what does that mean? That means the queue is empty, nothing can be deleted, right? If you want, you can write down this here, see out. Q empty, deletion not possible, right? And Then you say return minus 1. If front is not equal to uh, minus 1, the else part, item is equal to Q and then front. So whatever variable whatever uh, number is stored in that position the front position that is put into item right and then we say if front is equal to equal to rear in that case that means this is the only element in the queue and once it is deleted front and rear both will become equal to minus one 
right? The queue will become empty. If front is not equal to rear, we come to the else part here. We say front is equal to front plus 1, okay? And then this else bracket is closed here and then we say return item. Here we will return item. What is stored in item? See, this was the array that I showed you. If I delete this element 6, right? If I want to delete this element, then this 6 will get stored into this item, right? And then front will be incremented by 1. So, front will come to this place. That is what is happening, okay? Hmm? So, here front is equal to front plus 1, return item and then this function is closed. Return item, there are two returns here. One is if the queue is empty, it will either return a minus 1. If the queue is not empty, the deletion is done. In that case, it will return the value which is there in that position, right? Now here, come back to the main one, right? Here you check if result if result is equal to equal to minus 1, in that case you say under flow, that is deletion not possible, right? Deletion not possible and you can exit. Right? Else now we can show the element that is deleted. See out. Deleted element is. Now deleted element is something which would have come into the variable result. Right. From there we are returning this item. Return item. So that item will come and get stored in this result. So this is the item that is being deleted. Right. And after that, you can uh, display the queue. Displaying the queue. And call the display function. Display function, the queue, that is the array, name of the array, front and rear, right? This is it and then you can write, see out, want to enter more elements, want to, sorry, delete more elements. Take the choice in CH, C in CH and then close the while loop, right? then the main function will be closed, right? So basically, this uh, remove queue, here I have written remove, actually here I have given the prototype as remove queue, so I'll make this as remove and here also I'll make this as remove, right? Okay. Hmm. This is the function, this is what is to be done. The display function is already discussed in the earlier uh, video wherein we pass the queue and the front and rear. We start from the front and go till the rear in a for loop and that is printed, right? So for the display function, the basically the for loop is like this. For i is equal to front, i less than or equal to rear, i plus plus, right? And then here you can print uh, C out q front like this q i right this is the for loop for uh, displaying the uh, q right and uh, if front is equal to equal to minus 1 then in that case we put a return okay hmm. this is the display function basically 
display function will be the same whether it is if you want to display the array uh, queue in an insertion program or a deletion program it will be the same the only uh, thing that you have to learn here is the deletion function okay so deletion in a queue that we have seen today and uh, deletion always happens from the front and whenever you delete a particular item in the queue front should be incremented by one right so with that i come to this session on uh, deletion in array queues bye